What's going on y'all? Welcome to this week's Quick Tip Tuesday. I'm Nathan Rich with Southern Salt Kayak Fishing and today we're going to be going over a couple of spots to target speckled trout during a high tide. But before we get into that, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to see all of our future content. We're going to be doing a low tide series next week for speckled trout and then we're going to move on and talk about high tide and low tide spots for flounder. So make sure y'all see that, hit the subscribe button. y'all we're gonna go ahead and jump on the google earth and i'm gonna show you a couple of spots that i target for speckled trout during high tide all right so we're talking about speckled trout we're talking about targeting them during high tide uh, the first thing i want to talk about is points and in particular you 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 know most of us have heard you need to target points to to catch fish right points are productive areas but most people, what I see them do is target the, the visual side of that point, what they can see. And um, to try to bring up an example, they might would come in here. Let me zoom in on that. They might come in here and target this point, right? So the problem with that is that yeah, you can catch a lot of fish targeting the visual side of the point, but one of the most productive areas of this point is where it tapers out into the, the deeper end of that water. And you really want to target your points, especially in a high tide, you want to target your points on the bottom side, like this right here. Now this is a hard visual point. I can see that it's fairly shallow right here. It gets a little bit deeper, but the most effective type of points to target especially in a high tide is going to be a point like this right here right you can see this you're out here in the water you could definitely make this point out but this one is a little less visible on a good clear day you might be able to see it um, but you know to, to map it out you might need to use a fish finder depending on how deep you're trying to target your points um, this one been here before it's, it's actually pretty visible but I want to target my points right here, right here at the bottom. So I might want to stage my kayak up out here, kayak, boat, whatever you have, and then throw on the point, pulling off. Because what's going to happen is these trout are going to come in here. They're actually going to stage on the bottom side, and they're going to catch mullet and whatnot coming off of this point, and they're going to ambush them. So targeting points um, that are a little bit deeper like this right here targeting this point right here is going to be a very very effective spot same thing right here targeting these points right here and you can always start out here hitting the points and then it, if you're not getting any you know uh, bites or any action or anything like that you can always just move in and start fan casting until you get shallower on in the point the one thing you don't want to do is come in here with your boat or your kayak and start throwing here and what you're doing is drifting across the the most in my opinion the most valuable uh spot of that point is going to be right here so you don't want to drift across it and start fan casting up top and then work your way down it's kind of counterproductive all right so we talked about points moving on the next part that we want to cover is uh, little islands like this, little um, submerged, I don't know what you want to call it, but if you notice right here, we got a little island sticking out, right? Um, now this is completely submerged, but so this water right here is going to be approximately uh, five to six feet, and then moving on in right here, you got two to three foot of water. A lot in a high tide, a lot of these trout are going to ease up around here you can even see we got a little bit of grass right here so this is a very productive spot but these trout are going to ease on up in here and they're going to wait for that mullet to come up on the flat and boom they're going to ambush them um, so looking for isolated islands like this right here is a great spot same thing goes 
uh, for this right here. Also a great spot. You know, and even stuff like this, just getting into like your shallower, sandier areas like this uh, is going to be extremely productive. Same thing coming over here, right? I can always, of course, I can come out here and I can target out here some of this deeper stuff, but the most productive area that I'm going to find is going to be isolated stuff just like this. A lot of trout are going to be pulling up into these areas and feeding. Now, they're going to feed here. They will retreat back out to the deeper stuff. They're not just going to hang out here all day um, because if they were to do that, they're going to be you know, scaring and terrorizing what they're after, which is the mullet. Um, so what they're going to do is come out here, congregate out here, and when it's time to feed, they're going to move into the flat, they're going to eat, and then they're going to retreat back. All right, and then the third place that we want to try to target trout during a high tide is, it, we already touched on it a little bit, but grass mats, right? Submerged grass. So... Looking on Google Earth, if you got clean water, you can find it. If you got a little bit dirty water, it might be harder for you. But if I'm looking on Google Earth, I can tell that all of this right here is uh, nothing but grass, right? So these grassier areas are, are you know, typically going to be shallower areas. Um, and when that tide gets up, that tide gets over that grass pretty good. And you get a lot of pinfish and croaker and bait fish that get in there and want to hang out around that grass. Well, these trout are going to move in there, start cruising around this grass, and that's where they're going to go to feed. Um, throwing around these pockets of grass is, is going to be probably one of the most productive areas in this grass to, uh, to try to pick up these trout, you know, like areas like this. These trout are going to get in here, lay low, and they're going to wait for that pinfish, croaker, mullet, whatever. To swim past them and then that's where you're going to ambush them so looking to target trout around these areas is, is i mean probably one of the best spots especially in a high tide uh, i mean those trout they just get in there around those holes and just kind of lay down um, one of my favorite lures to throw in, in that type of area is going to be a top water because those trout get down there and they're looking up looking for that silhouette of that bait to come over and when you're sitting there walking that uh, top water over the top of that that pothole or area of that grass where that trout's laying down. I mean, it's just gonna smoke it. Um, so I love throwing top waters in that type of area. Obviously, if you are fishing that area, you'll probably need to go with a more weedless presentation because you will be snagging a lot of grass. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it, y'all. Those are uh, three areas that you can look to target speckled trout during high tide. I hope y'all found this video helpful. If it was, hit that like button. Comment with any questions you have. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see y'all next week.